Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, today we're doing some more fishing, this time at a different lake. Uh, my friend there, Jake, once again, is here. We're gonna try to do another catch and cook video. If we can catch a fish. There's catfish, carp, rainbow trout, and bass, ducks. And ducks. We duckies, duckies, duckies. I don't wanna catch them though. But yeah, that's the plan. So, we'll keep you guys updated once something happens. Hey guys, um, so quick update. I haven't caught any fish. Jake got a bite. Um, had spot it. So, that's it. What's the point of even having it? No, turn it off. Here's the bottom Carter in his natural habitat. Oh no, he has his eyes. <laughs> I gotta run. He has a piece of ice in his hand. We're not catching any fish. It's too loud. Turn okay, guys, Jake's got one finally. Oh, it's what? Is it? Yeah. Oh, it broke. Oh, it broke? <laughs> hey guys, um, we have a quick update. We have a swarm of ducks right here. Yeah. Look how big they are, though. Look at that one. His name is Chester. Okay. Yeah, this is just an update though. Okay, finally. He's chubby. Jake was able to hook one. Okay, okay, it's, re it's reeled up. So, we're gonna cook him up and eat him. Hey. So, Buddy, don't do this. Don't do this. that's the plan. Okay, welcome back. Um, so, we got a fish finally. Jake caught it. Again, Jake's got both the catch and eat fish. I you know. should feel, should feel happy, Jake. Yeah. Okay, but we got a fish, ten inches or so. Um, salt, pepper, and dill weed, which is a spice. It's said to be really good on fish, so we're gonna try that. Butter, bread. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. Um, my camp stove and my gas, my knife for filleting him, my camp plate set and my tongs. So let's get right on to gutting him, and I mean filleting him. Go. Okay, um, so we're gonna go ahead and fillet this fish real quick. So, just gonna give it a cut right there. Shallow cut. Then you're gonna cut along the back. Shallow cut along the back to separate the fillet from the backbone. Then you can go all the way through towards the tail. Like that. And through the tail and just cut into it like that. All the way out to the end. So there you go. That's the first step. And now you're just gonna go along the rib cage. Just cut, cut, and cut until you've made it all the way through. And then you can do a quick cut along. So I'm gonna do that because that might take me a few minutes. I'm still a beginner to filleting. So yeah. Okay, so there you go, one fillet. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other side, and we're gonna start cooking. Okay, so we got our butter going. And, um, so are you okay with, are you gonna cook this one again, Jake? Of course. Jake, Jake's better at it than me. I'm just gonna say, he's better at cooking the fillets than me. So, first off, I gotta make an apology to you guys. I wanted to make a different catch and cook video of, say, a catfish or a bass, but it turned out being another trout. There's our trout fillets. 
on the piece of tin foil. Okay, can I have the first piece? So that's just how it ended up. Um, you know, it's always fun to do these. I love. There you go. Um, when I started my channel, I initially really wanted to do catch and cook videos. So, whatever it is, I enjoy it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna enough with the talk. I'm gonna cook. Jake's gonna cook this guy up, and we're gonna eat him. It's said to be good, isn't it, Jake? Yeah, it is. It smells great. Okay, so we'll see you guys um, in, a bit. in a bit. Okay, so these fillets are a little bit bigger than the last one. We're gonna have to do them separate. But um, Jake's adding the spices now. Yeah. I'm gonna let this simmer a little bit, so. Okay. I put a little bit of salt on it. Um, but man, look at that. Here's the other spices. Mm. Oh, yep, Jake's putting on the spices. If you leave the skin on there, it actually helps it cook and not burn. Because, I mean, it keeps that kind of like good seafood smell and it's like really good. That makes sense because it's kind of like a guard, the skin is. I don't mind the skin. Some people like to take it off. I'm going to be completely honest. I am i don't feel comfortable taking it off yet because I feel like well, we don't there, I would just, yet, yeah. Because it's not, it makes the face the fish get better. Yeah. And I would just take off all the skin if I did take it off. But it takes away some of the fishy flavor. Yeah. But it's a nice pond. This is the second pond that we've been to that there's like a quarter of it that isn't frozen. Over there, all frozen. All frozen, so. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll do another video of ice fishing. Yeah. That'd be fun. You ought to come along, Jake. Come ice fishing. You're my handyman. You do all the work. I do. Well, I videotape you. Okay, well, we'll keep you guys updated probably once we get the fish done, so. Okay, so, uh, Jake put the second fillet on, um, because, this, like I said, it, it's going to take two different cookings, but that's okay, considering it only takes a few few minutes. Yeah, we'll show the whole fish, and look at our finished product right yeah, here. Yeah, that's, that's one of the finished ones. Mm. And you know what I taught Carter to do? Since he can't smell, what I told him to do was we'd go like this and and put it in, like, try and capture some smoke and put it in your mouth, and it actually, you can taste a little you bit. You can actually kind of taste it. It's actually a really cool trick, but. Yeah, Carter, actually, here, you should try, you should eat it before it gets cold. Okay, yeah, so, here yeah, we go. Video. I'm gonna try it. Okay, here we go. Mm. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, the spice is really, the last one we didn't put spices on. That is good. Oh, one more bite before I wait for Jake. Oh my gosh. Dude, you have to show me how you cook them like that. I'll show you. Oh, Maybe next really video. Good. Okay, well there you have it. We'll be right back once Jake gets his done. Okay, Jake's is done, finally. There you go. Yeah. Just listen to that. Listen to that sizzle. Yeah. Most I already ate wonderful. mine. I couldn't hold out. It was absolutely delicious. He even ate the skin too. It was like really good. It almost the skin, like I was saying to Jake, the skin almost it looks burnt, but it's not. It it almost tastes like smoked, kind of. It's really good. I burnt some skin accidentally, but I guess it's okay. It's not a big deal. That's why you have the skin. That's why we don't skin it. Yeah, because it actually makes the flavor actually really, really good. So, if you're ever going to do a catch and cook like us, always leave the skin on because it doesn't burn it. As That's badly. right. But if you're a terrible cook and you burn it anyways, <laughs> well, don't eat it. <laughs> Perfect. Go eat seafood. <laughs> Go eat seafood. Go to Red Lobster if you're. That's so weird. And you don't have to do this just to get good fish. You could just go like Red Lobster or something. I yeah, but like this is lobster. better. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. But if you think of it now, this fish was swimming 10 minutes ago. Yeah, it's it's really interesting to think about. Mm. It's it's really awing actually. How was it, Jake? Great. Yeah. This is the best thing. Was it better than the last one? Yes, because yeah. we had the dough weed. 
Yeah. And then the dill weed is, is like, like the best thing. Oh, look, that dog wants some of our fish. <laughs> yeah, we've had some people come by and. Like, they like compliments us and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I had a lot of dogs come by and ask us for food. But what, six dogs now? Six yes, dogs as we cooked that fish came by and said, oh, you know, I have some. <laughs> okay. Um, that might be it for this video. Uh, there's a chance it might not be. Depending if we catch another one, we'll probably eat that too. If we don't, then that's the end of this video.